What's going on guys? Hope you're all having a great day today and today We're back with a brand new video. We're on some Sea of Thieves today um, I don't think I've made a Sea of Thieves video. So this is my first time making a Sea of Thieves YouTube video and it's for a good reason today. I'm gonna to be showing you how to get nine to ten thousand gold every 15 or so minutes um, I found this while doing the, the Tall Tale Pirate's Life things. In a matter of like 15-20 minutes, you can get anywhere from 9 to 10,000 gold. I think I've got up to 11,000. So if you, if you just want to grind this method out, you could get a lot of money very quickly. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to this lady over here, the Castaway Woman. And you're going to want to start the very first tall tale. Now she's going to drone on for about, I don't know, three, four minutes with this long ass speech. Which you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but um, she does give a long ass speech. It's kind of annoying. So um, I'll just take a nice little nap here while she's talking. For the I've done this a bunch of times, so this is just super repetitive. Alright, once she pulls out this uh, jar, you can go ahead and move to your ship. Because she's going to open up a portal. Um, where uh, Over there, in between those two giant rock formations off in the distance. So we're going to go ahead and head that direction. Yep, there we go. So we just need to head into into the uh, the green. <clears throat> you might not have to wait till she pulls that out. You probably could go sooner and just like be chilling there right when it opens. I haven't actually tested that, but that could cut off a little bit of time, probably like a minute or so. Alright, once you're out of the that whole thing, some of you guys I'm sure have probably already done this, so you already know what to do, but you know, just sail up to the shore and then we're gonna wanna speed run through all this stuff so you guys can just follow what I do. Because we're gonna speed run through this to get to kind of the end part. Alright, so as I said, if you guys have already done this tall tale, then you know you know where to go. But if you haven't, just follow what I do. We're going to run through this real quick. I'm going to get your lantern, light that up, and then light these two lanterns here. This is going to open... That dude's going to say, dead men tell no tales about a hundred times, so get used to that. Kind of annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so you like the one back behind me, just like that one. You have to move the skeleton's arm also. Then there's another one right down here. 
can we get a dead men tell no tales counter that's number two I might forget to put that in when I edit the video but he says it about a hundred times all right just run through this nothing interesting here Once you guys do this a couple times, you should just fly right through it. I mean, I've done this probably five or six times. So, I mean, uh, I can easily speed run through this now. Uh, so, you're going to need a handle for that. You just want to drop down right here. You're going to take a little fall damage, so that's fine. And the handle is right back here. Take your lantern out one more time, light that lantern, then we're going to turn this right here. Then we're going to pull this, pull it down, which will raise that little platform. And there's one more lantern right here. Then we're gonna have to wait for the uh, the ghost rowboat to get their ass over here. They take their sweet time. Now, this is going to lower any second now. There we go. Then there's a little bit more parkour up here. I'm going to turn right, go up this side. I'm up here, and you're going to want to pull out your sword. Cut that. That's going to drop. Alright, now jump on this. And then cut this one again. And then slide down here, and now we are in the area where uh, we're going to get all this gold. So, normally to get in this area to get all the gold, you have to go through quite a few steps. But uh, I found uh, kind of like, kind of not really an exploit, but a way to get into the area without going through all the steps. And you can get all the gold, and then you'll just rinse and repeat. takes so long to lower. Come on. There we go. Alright, so like I said, normally you have to get the the little skull, skull down in that little cage up there that's hanging. 
and then you have to do a couple other things to so then get a key to open the door where all the gold is. But instead of doing all that, run back over around here. And the edge of this ship is going to be sticking out. And what you can do is it might take you a couple tries, but if you jump against this side of the ship, you can get kicked up onto the top like this. And normally you have to get a key to open here, open that to get all this gold. But without doing that, you can get up to the front of the ship. And then you collect all this gold. It's going to be from 9 to, I think, 11,000. I think it varies a little bit. And there you have it. And then what you do is you just rinse and repeat, unfortunately. You have to leave the game and then join back and start it up again. Um, I tried to drown myself and see if it would kick me out. But no, it just spawned me back in the same area and the gold was still gone when I took it. So um, it takes about 15-20 minutes to go through all that to get back here. So you can get about nine to 11,000 gold every 15-20 to 20 minutes. Um, well, that's been it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments if you use this, if you tried it at all. Uh, let me know if you want to see any more Sea of Thieves content like this. Uh, but that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.